As electric vehicles develop at a rapid pace towards global domination, one of the flaws limiting this revolution seems to be its battery performance in colder temperatures. The range of most electric vehicles are known to decrease when operating in colder temperatures due to poor performance of the battery. CATL, the leader in battery technology, claims its new electrolyte development can supercharge EV batteries even in frigid conditions, drastically cutting the charging time and improving the efficiency. Although there are no details about how they have achieved this claim, should we readily buy into this excitement? Hello friends and welcome to The Electrochemist. I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. Thank you for helping us get to 500 subscribers. My goal is to get the channel to 1000 subscribers by the end of 2023 and I cannot do it without you. On this channel, we discuss all things battery development, including existing lithium-ion batteries, new and emerging battery systems, battery supply chain, battery production, and battery application. If this is something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel, smash the like button, and keep watching. Although it feels like there are always big announcements about groundbreaking battery discoveries, whatever that means, lithium-ion batteries remain the most continuously developed battery chemistry. This consistent advancement of lithium-ion batteries is one of the major reasons why there are new electric cars with superior performance and features coming to the market every year. Despite this progress, for the EV revolution to fully succeed, the weaknesses of today's batteries need to be acknowledged and overcome. Two of the major limitations to the global scale application of lithium-ion batteries are performance limitations as well as limited and inadequate charging infrastructure. These two limitations affect the performance in stationary applications like battery energy storage systems or BESS where energy is stored to be released at a later point in time and for mobile applications like electric vehicles. The performance limitations relate to parameters such as the gravimetric and volumetric energy density, the cycle life, safety and constraints in different operating conditions as it relates to temperature. Of these performance limitations, one key factor is the operating condition as it relates to temperature. This is because cold slow reactions inside the electrolyte solution needed to pass a charge between the battery cathode and the anode. In cold conditions, the battery also has to do extra work to heat itself, which means it is using up energy. This is particularly bad for mobile applications such as EVs, electric planes and EV tolls because part of this energy will be used to heat up the interior or cabin which will in turn reduce the range that can be achieved on a single charge. To learn more about EVs and their range loss in cold weather, check out this video on our channel on cheaper EV batteries, cheaper EVs, is there a big trade-off? Well, this is where CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, comes in. The world's leading EV battery manufacturer claims to have solved this cold weather problem by developing a strategy that will dramatically improve the charging efficiency of lithium-ion batteries for electric cars, especially in extreme cold weathers. At a recent Shanghai forum, Wu Kai, CATL's chief scientist, said the company had developed a new electrolyte which could boost the charging efficiency of lithium-ion batteries by 50% when operating in extremely cold temperatures, that is, minus 20 degrees Celsius, and 43% under normal temperatures. Wu did not detail how CATL had been able to achieve the improved battery performance it described, but if this becomes a reality, it will certainly give a lot of cold weather EV drivers the reassurance they desperately need. In addition to addressing cold weather performance, the ambitious Chinese battery maker plans to mass produce a battery that is capable of delivering 400 kilometers of driving range on a single charge of, 40 mi of 10 minutes by the end of 2023. Although the range is questionable without knowing the capacity of the battery, the charging time is definitely impressive, especially when you consider the fact that Tesla's level 3 DCFC superchargers, which at the high end, take 15 to 25 minutes to charge, but this is claiming 10 minutes. Not resting on slurrels, the company's next goal is to further reduce the charging time down to a mere 5 to 7 minutes for the same range, which sounds like something from a magical Disney movie. News of battery improvements are being unveiled almost every week, making the EVs people bought last year almost obsolete by the following year. There are also new battery and EV companies coming on board every year, with next generation batteries that last longer, drive further, charge faster and work better in cold conditions. But CATL has managed to stay relevant and ahead of the pack. While CATL is making the headlines with its top-notch technologies and ambitious sensations, it's essential to approach these claims with a healthy dose of skepticism.
Transparency about the methods and materials used in battery technologies is crucial, particularly when the claims are game-changing. That said, CATL is a company that has so far been true to its nature as a leading battery company, so I would not be surprised if they deliver these claims. Either way, it is important to remember that technology often takes time to evolve and scale up. Theoretical predictions and lab-scale research are easy to accomplish, but gigascale accomplishment is the real deal. And in the end, all these are good news for EV users. The EV revolution is just getting started, and things are only going to get interesting going forward. Please drop a comment if you've enjoyed this video, show your support by smashing the like button, share this video with a friend, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.